Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Now in this tutorial, I wanna cover how to add custom headers or one custom HTTP request header on the client with Blazor. And also, and that's why I created an ASP.NET Core hosted project here. I also wanna show you how you can then read this custom header using a middleware in your web API. Now, the easiest way, of course, to set a header for a specific request would be to just grab the HTTP client instance and then you've got the default request headers and then, then you can simply do something like that, add, and then you've got your custom header and let's say this is then my value. All right, that's everything. But I also wanna show you how you can generally add a custom header to your requests, to your HTTP requests without using that line. So meaning with every request, no matter where you do it in a service, in a page, wherever you do it, this custom header will be there with your request. So let's have a look. Here we are with a specific call. And now when I go to fetch data, we can actually see it here in the developer tools that we get the custom header here with my value already pretty neat, but let's now do this generally. And for that, you need a so-called delegating handler. And let's just create one and put it into a new folder like HTTP handlers, for instance. And here now we create this new item and let's call this thing custom header handler, for instance. We derive from delegating handler. And now in here, first thing we need is a constructor, but we also make use of the base constructor with a new HTTP client handler. All right. And now here to add your custom header, we will override the send async method. So override it is and then send async. All right, let me put this into a new line like that. So protected override task returning an HTTP re response message, then send async with the request message and a cancellation a token. And now here we can set the header, for instance, requests, and then headers and here also adds and well, no, let me again add the custom maybe dash header here. And this is again, my custom custom header value, something like that, right? So that would be our delegating handler, don't forget the braces here, or the parentheses. And now already the next thing is only in the program CS, here we can use this line for our HTTP client, the only thing we do is here in parenthesis, we now add our custom header handler. There it is. And now it is added in essence to our pipeline. So let's have a quick look again. App is restarting. There's our call already. And when we scroll down, we see our custom header with my custom header value. Isn't that nice? In not even five minutes, you've built your delegating handler. You could also call this interceptor if you have a bit of experience with Angular, for instance, pretty much the same stuff. Now the thing is, it's great to have this custom uh, header set, but what about our web API? How would you then read this thing? Again, there are a couple of ways to do this, but one way I like a lot is just creating a custom middleware. So let's do that. We right click our server project, add a new folder, call it middlewares for instance. And here now we create a new item and this thing's called custom header middleware for instance. And we can actually already use it in our program CS. For instance, up here, we say app use middle, not user, use middle where that's the one with our custom header middleware like 
that. And with that, this thing is added to our pipeline. And here now the actual code. So let's say private read only requests delegate, that's the one. And typically we can call this next. When you have a look here, a function that can process an HTTP request. Okay, this is everything we need here. And we also want to inject that in the constructor. So here now, or rather here, we say generate constructor. So custom header middleware using the request delegate next. And here now, what we need is the method invoke async. So public async returning a task invoke async and regarding the parameters we've got the HTTP context and then the question is what we, what do you want to do with the actual result but more about that maybe in a second so actually the only thing we need is the HTTP context here and from that thing let's grab the custom header now so string could be now custom header now is context request headers and again you could also do that in a controller for instance or when you use the http context accessor you could also do that in a service but this maybe is a neat way to simply use a middleware here because then you also do that with every request that comes in right so here now we are looking for our custom header actually. And here we say first or default. And now we ask is the, or do we actually have a value here? And then we can actually do something with that stuff. And then we also call next context. So the next middleware will be called in essence. One more thing still I want to add, and that's why I was mentioning it here in the parameters, we can use a service now. So let's just assume you do you want to do something with your custom header, not only log it here, for instance, or actually do something here, have some logic in here, you want to set this custom header and make it available globally for every other service, for instance. So what I would like to do is creating another service, really tiny little service. So let's just say add new folder services, and this then would be our custom header service like that. We could also use a, an interface and some methods if you want to do that a bit better with a better practice of course but for this tiny little YouTube tutorial here let me just say we've got a little property uh, string another little string with the custom header value all right and with that then this thing is available here because we can simply inject that so let's say the custom header service custom header service, that's the one. And here now we say the custom header service, uh, custom header value is custom header, all right? Now we also register this thing here in our program CS. So here we say builder services add scoped, and then the custom header service. Again, using an interface here would be a much better practice. But with that, or with that way, we can, well, set the state, set the header in the, using the middleware. And if you would now have other services, and I'm pretty sure you have other services that need this value, then you can simply inject this little custom header service. And this service then is the only one that knows something about the HTTP context. So, you know, 
you still got your layers, your service layers, then the middleware with the HTTP context, but there's only this one single service that also has access to the HTTP context somehow, and the other services have no idea what the HTTP context is actually about. I'm just telling you that because if you, for instance, use the HTTP context accessor, then you would break the layers, right? So then every service that uses this context accessor again know something about the context that's why it's called http context accessor i hope you get the idea if not please write it down in the comments and if you have better ideas of course let me know that as well all right anyways with that now it's pretty much done the only thing i want to add here is a console right line so we actually see the result uh let's say now uh, my custom header value is and then here the custom header service come on that's what i want and put it here and now we should actually see that value in the console all right let's reset our app there we are, it is restarted, I hope. So again, we see our custom header here in the in the request headers, all right. And now when we have a look at the terminal here, we actually see my custom header value is my custom header value. And we can do that one more time and we see it again and again and again and again. So that's how it's done. The code can be found on GitHub. The link is in the video description. If you liked this tutorial and learned something, I would really appreciate it if you hit the like button. Thanks a lot for that. Maybe you want to even subscribe. It definitely does make a difference. And also maybe you want to have a look at my newsletter and watch the next video here you see on the screen. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I see you next time. Take care.